Many women find that the ability to move around and change positions during labor is the most effective way to manage their pain and help labor progress naturally. Research has shown that women who are confined to bed have more pain and are less satisfied with their birth experience than women who are able to move around. I need to move. There isn't one position or movement that will be the most comfortable or effective for every woman during labor. The most important thing is to have the freedom to follow your instincts and try different things. Often, the positions and movements that bring you the most comfort will also help your labor progress. So follow your body's lead during labor to decide what works best for you. During early labor, many women like to be in upright positions and walk around. Then just before pushing starts, they prefer hands and knees or side-lying positions. These positions can also be helpful when pushing, as well as upright positions, such as sitting and squatting. One position that is rarely comfortable or helpful for progressing your labor is lying flat on your back. Your baby might also get less oxygen in this position, which could result in fetal distress. Women are sometimes restricted from moving around during labor because they're connected to hospital equipment such as electronic fetal monitors and IVs. If these are suggested during your labor, ask your healthcare provider if they're necessary and what alternative options you have. If you do need to be connected to any piece of equipment, ask about the availability of mobile devices, which still allow you to move around and use a variety of positions throughout your labor. All of the movements helped tremendously during the contractions. Leaning over the bed and swaying just helps because it, um, it's a force that is different from the force of the contractions. It really relieved it a little bit to be able to have a movement that was um, different from the movement of the contraction inside of you. For more information, visit our website at mothersadvocate.org.